you've had these guys, these blue diamond extremes. This Carolina Reaper is, they're good. Before I lose too much light here, I'm heading out to hang out with my buddy Chris and my buddy Randy. They're out camping at Indian Cave State Park and uh, trying to make my way there. They're about 80 plus miles away from me. So I'm chasing daylight right now. Chasing daylight right now. So I am here, just got to meet a cool guy named Ben. He's actually heading out of here. And then you can see all this lightage going on. I'm gonna grab my headlamp so you can see what's what's what. <laughs> what's, what's his name? I don't, he, he just, you don't have a name. You can name him. He's Tiny. Tiny, Tiny. the T-Rex. Tiny the T-Rex. Tiny's a good one. Tiny's a good one. You done with me? I'm done with you. I know where I need to be. Randy, <laughs> over there. That's a stupid bright light. It is. It's nice stupidly stuff. bright, but it hopefully it show everything shows up good on it. So I'm gonna be checking out two things. One is this chair from Tom's shoe that I already showed you guys in a video. It's got a lot of pieces, but I arrived here at camp with the sundown per usual. So. This is a really good test with myself because a lot of times when I show up to camp, it's dark. And the other is this One Tigris Tetra tent um, that I got to do some uh, moto camping with, but you know what, work and life get in the way, so I'm still gonna continue to, to use it, just not always for moto camping. But this is some stuff we got. We're gonna check it out. These guys here for your, your inner tent. And we'll fasten them down like that. All right, here's these guys set up tonight. They've got their gazelle setups. They got their gazelle awnings. And then there's this. They're not just camping, they moved in. Pretty glad. <laughs> I am on the other side over here. With my dinosaur buddy. I have been talking about doing this. And, oh, don't pay attention to that little guy. So I've been talking about doing this, and I'm gonna do it. Yep, you'll see. I have my Trangia kit with me this evening. I have this cool little uh, Trangia pot holder. It came with this kit I've had for years. It does a good job. I'll be honest with you guys. Even though this does a good job, it's still not as good as good old firebox. I love this flat spot on the firebox pot gripper. See what I'm saying? It just grabs so good as opposed to this, which could actually scratch it, which I have a scratch mark on the inside of this brand new one that I replaced one of my red ones with uh, because of this, this grabber. So this is just a lot smoother. Going in for the Wendy's Chili. If you don't know what Wendy's is, it's a restaurant, so I never bought it before in a can. Give it a shot. Gotta think. 
Chris for loaning me his uh, Swiss Army knife so I have to ride into my truck and get mine. They're actually in a nice crust on them. It all came out of the can. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Let me get a first bite off Chris here. Ooh. Here we go. You tell me, what do you think of this guy? Oh, it's good. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Heck yeah. I gotta try it too now. We got that chili. I'm gonna give him a shot. I've got silverware here as well, so just in case, we're gonna pick this whole corn dog up. Chili corn dog. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This is pretty dang good. <laughs> and now you're out in the sun, you might get 12 minutes. Okay. Right? Okay. And then not using it, it's charging. Okay. What is he doing? Filming this chair. Quiet on the set, Chris. Oh, I don't care. You of all people should know that. I don't care. He screws up more of my video. Out here camping still. Been using this guy. This is that. RUI Simple, but this is the RUI Simple. This is actually from Tom Shoe as well. Wireless charger, charging my phone up. Also charging my watch. USB-C to the watch, wireless to that. And then this cord here is what I'm charging my GoPro with. Keep myself all so charged up while we're out. Good morning. I slept so good. This tent did great. This uh, huge mesh vent that runs along the whole back did wonderful. I I kept it unhooked and just let the air flow in. But. You guys an outside view of it. I'm gonna wake up and uh, give you guys more of a look at this tent. Mm -hmm. So I was just sitting here getting ready to get out of the tent and my phone started to ring. But it was a weird Instagram ring instead and uh, <laughs> my dad accidentally called me on Instagram and he's in Texas on vacation right now. So I I just had a great conversation with him. <laughs> He's so freaking funny. But, uh, yeah.
that was a, that was a cool way to wake up and BS with my old man for a little while. <laughs> Yeah, I like this setup. So, this would be one of those tents that I've talked about. Like, if it was to rain and you got stuck in this tent, how well would you do? How well would you do in this tent? You know, because sometimes you want these these small, itty-bitty tents. But if you was to get stuck in the rain, inclement weather in that, um, would you be comfortable? Uh, so, I've got my foot out of the tent right now because I'm getting ready to, to actually get out. I've got my shoe in my hand here. But if I didn't, uh, I mean, I'd be fine in here. I would absolutely be fine in here. I really like this setup. So this is the One Tigris Tetra, and I like it. Um, the cool thing is, is that door. I didn't really show it that well last night. Um, I actually had it on the wrong side for a little bit. Until I started looking at it and then Chris was like, oh, well, there's a mesh down there. So what you can do is unzip the door all the way, except for the base, and just tuck the door in to that little mesh pocket. Super awesome. Tent matches my One Tiger's pack there. But there's a view of it. I like it, man. I like it a lot. Tom shoe chair. And I'll get tea on here in just a bit. But yep. Yeah. And here is their outfit. They got the gazelle, the gazelle, their gazebo. Yep. Very nice. This is supposed to be my, originally my moto camping setup. Um, everything fits nice and lovingly in the pack. So, but we'll, we'll still try to get this out for a moto camping video on the Super Cub. Yes. So here is the Tom shoe chair again that I've been using. And Randy, he has this I climb chair, which is lightweight. But maybe it has to do with the shape of the chair, but we all kind of agreed this this chair feels sturdier. But Maybe it's this X pattern, I'm not sure. But they're both comfortable. Sir. All right, I got to see this. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. All right, it's still hot, but it's not bad. Oh, it's not bad at all. Uh-uh. What brand are these? High V. High V brand. Nice. Mm-hmm. It ain't horrible. That's for sure. I'll do it again. Yep. Oh, that would do. Uh, anytime I ever try a new bra, I don't ever eat anything on it. Just so I know if it's worthy, you know what I mean? Like, cause you could church any type of brat up and make it taste decent with, you know, condiments, but. Onion. 
Mm -hmm. bunker. But how's the brought standalone? Feels good enough. And that's everything but food. And you got room in there if you wanted to do like mountain house meals. Oh yeah, I have I've well, I don't know if you've seen how much I rolled the bag up, but yeah, I have yeah. plenty of room because if the bag's all the way enrolled, the tables doesn't stick out. Thank you everyone for coming along. Really, really enjoyed just a nice, soothing, relaxing camp uh, with Chris and Randy. It was very much needed. Got to use some gear that I uh, bought and I've, I've been using some gear that was uh, sent to me from other companies just to, to review them and test them out. And I think that those have all come to a head now where you're gonna see reviews and tests, uh, videos from them now. I just, I don't want to use something once and tell you guys to go out and buy it. I just don't think that's fair to do. Um, yeah, hurry up, go out and buy this. I've used it once, I think it's great. One time means nothing, so. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming along. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.